Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. This is your January 2020 reading. So we're tuning in to the first month of this new decade. Isn't that crazy? Um, I want to wish all my Aquarius souls a happy, happy, amazing, loving, abundant new year. And I hope that this will definitely be the year for you guys where you can look back upon it and think, damn, that was a good year. That was a good year. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, let's jump into your reading. I'm going to start off with an affirmation for you um, because I just feel that this energy in January just will need some certain repeating of a certain type of affirmation to just constantly redirect and recenter ourselves when it comes to our energy because it's it's a lot happening we also will have a lunar eclipse in the sign of cancer which connects to your sixth house so that is all about daily routines how you take care of your body how you take care of your family and um all of that okay all right aquarius what's going on got someone to talk right now a little I feel a stillness coming from you guys just a stillness of like I'll just wait and see what's gonna happen I'll just tune into this new year just start a new year just like any other week just any other day and any other Wednesday and I'll just go with the flow I'll just see whatever comes towards me I think that's very powerful Aquarius when I think I surrender I surrender some more or I surrender more when you think I love how a think card comes true for my Aquariuses when I think I've surrendered I surrender some more okay this is a very powerful message for you guys and I do want to tune in to it a little bit what we spoke about throughout entire 2019 maybe even 2018 was about allowing things to happen the way they're supposed to happen and having peace and um, trust in that and to allow your mind to be a part of the journey but not the, always the leader and the one up front and to trust your intuition more and to open up to that part of trusting your intuition has a lot to do with surrendering to an outcome to just let it be as it meant to be when you think think mind headspace you are surrendering remind yourself of surrendering some more you know i surrender more so also it's a little bit double because it also says when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Meaning that if you become aware of the fact that it's not in your control and you're releasing the control, it's like I'm, I'm just going to release the control because that's I remember now. Like I, that's something I said I should do. Hey, here, uh, here I am all caught up into something here on a Monday morning. You know what? I'm going to surrender to this because I'm just going to put my mindset on surrendering to the outcome. I'm allowing the universe to take the will. And I'm going to do and put in everything that I can and what I do have control over because we always have some control and focus on the things that I can actually actively do like washing dishes, taking a shower, you know, all that. Just focus on things that you have control over and surrender to the outcome to something you in that very moment feel very controlless about, out of control. And then you surrender. It's like, no, I'm going to surrender to that and redirect my focus because that's also surrendering. It's a very powerful message, actually. So take it however it comes to you, this energy, because um, you guys can do that. You have very strong and powerful intuition yourself. Sometimes your mind has to take a little bit of a backseat for it to come forward and for you to actually trust and work with it. Okay, let's jump into the tarot, Aquarius. Two of Wands, you see? I'm just watching from a distance right now. I see opportunities, things I could do. I'm just not ready to really set a next step. But I do see that some of you really set some serious goals for this new year. January is a good start off with that. Just don't burn all your energy up in the first month. And then feel like, hey, I already failed by the time 20th of January comes around. And you're like, 
oh, I'm so tired of trying already, you know, like that. See, two of swords, two, two, two of swords with the Hierophant. I already spoke about this with you guys, but the 2020 reading is already on. Um, so if you want to watch that, it's on my channel. Um, this is going to be a very, very spiritual evolving year for you guys it's very profound it's very powerful i just keep repeating it and maybe that's not something that you want to hear right now because like yeah what am i supposed to do with that is it you know <laughs> but it's very powerful it's really going to um help you get out of this headspace and the overthinking you know it's good to let your mind help you to be creative about things and to, to see the solutions and go with the flow you know all of that it's like, oh, I remember this from this and that, and I can actually do that, so I'm gonna try it, you know, like that. It's it's good, you know, yet it shouldn't control you where the overthinking kicks in and it actually paralyzes you, and then you don't really know what to do because you see so many options. I do see a moment of stillness, which is not harmful because there's no five of swords or anything here, it's just you know, a moment of stillness and just going over the options. What do I want to do this year? You know, like that. And they're guiding you towards the Hierophant. Meaning that take a stand for something. Take a stand for your beliefs. What you believe in. What your true truth is. Your soul's truth. Maybe some of you actually start to go. I don't know. Some of you might go start going to church. You've never been there before. Maybe as a child. But now you want to go and, you know, visit the church. If that's something you feel guided to do, go out and try that. If it's a tarot reader, if it's trying out tarot, if it's anything to do with astrology, go and try and do that as well. Just let it guide you because you might feel certain things you want to try out and you're like, that's not me. What is wrong with me? You know, but the fact that you are here listening to me already says me you're already on kind of sort of a level, you know, open up. But um, yeah. I really do see that there are certain urges you get and feel guided to do certain things that you're you didn't expect of yourself and <laughs> i do see some resistance against it in january that's fine that's your mind um let me see what's coming through for aquarius for the month of january aquarius for the month of january here we go yep yep I picked up on that. Four of <laughs> our pentacles. See? Holding on to your truths. Holding on to what you believe in. Holding on to your money. Holding on to the person. Holding on to the past. Holding on to how things are. And how they, you feel that they should stay. But it doesn't fit. Some things just no longer fit. And you know it. And you feel it. And that's why it feels so off. But that's good it's it's powerful it's changed so it's scary but it's nothing negative there's nothing negative going on it's all to help you move forward and to go beyond yourself and beyond the limitations you might have put on yourself okay for you're holding on to something you might even start doing something but you're not sharing Which is also fine. But it's an equal give and take coming towards you. So equal give and take in a relationship. Yeah. Gemini energy. The love is coming through. So there's a lot of equal give and take in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, then it has to do with just you and how you treat yourself. Maybe it's your spiritual body, your mental body, and your physical body who are getting an equal place. Your health might be challenging in the month of January, but that's okay. It's nothing major, but it's just you gonna have to keep it in the loop, like keep it in check basically for yourself. Look at that, nine of cups came with the two of wands. I'm going to have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are really intense. Um, getting back to your reading. What I'm picking up on Aquarius is that you don't just want the out outside picture to look good. 
you want to feel good about it you want to have that sense of fulfillment with things when it comes to relationship when it comes to your job when it comes to your hobbies your things you try out you want to feel a sense of fulfillment and you're starting to come from that space to not always have the logical mind force you to be in a nine to five and do with that and do it like that because you know this way you feel comfortable with but feeling comfortable with something doesn't necessarily mean you feel fulfilled or you feel happy with something you know and i i, I feel you start to really see the thing separated from each other and the lovers is coming here because you're going to make some very serious decisions with a person in your life very serious communication about a shift a change and it con it's going to come of a place of love a place of kindness a, a place of compassion and a place of romance for some of you and it's really okay we're making this decision we're both feeling happy with it we're all good the whole group is involved yes we are let's go you know we're gonna try this different you know it's really like that and it's powerful okay Aquarius what else is coming through some of you have the feeling you want to leave you want to leave a certain type of situation like you can feel the itch basically is what I'm feeling <laughs> I feel the itch to leave but you want to do it in the right timing you want to do it with the for the right reasons what I'm feeling so this might be a part of you who doesn't want to commit to something because it doesn't really seem logical to do that yet it feels so good and you're deciding to really start trusting your intuition and your feelings and, and doing it like that so we have the knight of swords you might have a person in your surrounding who goes from hot to cold from hot to cold and, and goes back to hot again you know it's hot and cold it's like either this or that and that um you might need to to blow some steam with friends or with close people you know with just anybody outside that connection basically and it's like a lot of communication back and forward about um what you want to do next basically but one sec, because I'm tuning into something. I'm going to get a card on that. Aquarius. Beautiful, yes. There are some of my Aquarius who are in a three-way situation, okay? If it's not you, then don't take it, you know, like, oh, it's not my reading. Now I'm going to get to the general in a bit. Um... There was one person you choose out of, wow, I'm hearing obligation, which I don't really like for a word of love or a connection, but why? Um, it was more of like, no, but it was, it was in, in a practical way, it was perfect and good. And then we loved each other or may not be in love, but we loved each other as people. And then there's this person that came around who was like, Poof, this whole all deep and soul to soul connection it swept you off your feet and you go are gonna go for it okay it might not all happen in january but if it's something that's not connecting to you right now it's not going to connect to you in a while that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm rhyming over here um so don't worry that it that's not going to happen but if it's connected to you then the universe is showing you to follow your heart and it was a very harsh lesson because it's weird it's weird to choose that when you might hurt other people along the way but by staying you're truly hurting yourself and the other person as well so it's a very harsh hard decision to make but you're not rushing into it because not something you would just do you know but you're choosing to f to follow your happiness and you also want the other person that not is not your person like soul to soul it's not really a person to always want you always always sorry as well want to find that person or that person to find their true love you know it's like you getting out of the way so that person also at one point can find that true love and you're not keeping him or her in a situation where 
it's all good it's practical on the outside it looks great but there's no real feeling involved and somebody who came in did gave you that feeling and you're deciding to leave certain things behind commit to that and follow your heart and it was the right decision that doesn't mean that it's the easiest one to make i'm just saying i don't have any personal opinions about it that's just what the cards are showing me if that is not the situation because i hope that for a lot of people it's not i see an overall connection and reconnection and there's a lot of back and forth about a party you might go to where you have to travel for and you might meet somebody there. And if you already are connected to somebody, I just see that lighter energy of like, you know, little love notes or little this or little that. That's really bringing in the romance back into the union. And you both are going to leave some emotional turmoil behind because um, it's time. That's what I'm hearing. You know, there were certain things and lessons you both had to go through separately and together. And now you're coming to another level where the peace comes back in. The connection is first again. And that's also happening for a reason because you might have some challenges or growth to do in another aspect of your life. But then the person will stand next to you and not opposite from you. Okay. Whew, that's a lot of mess just coming through for you, Aquarius. Let me see. What else coming through? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was going to come. Okay. So. Some of you is really overwhelming. All of this spiritual insight. All of this activation. All of this knowledge. Also just tapping into hurt and pain and scars you used to have like way way back but because you're healing on a soul's level it's going to come up you can do it you got this um but it will be at times and moments where you feel very overwhelmed with it it's going to come with certain type of dreams or um just feelings and emotions and sadness and this might already happened but don't be afraid because in the end of the day it really connects you into the heart and when you really are tapping back into the heart chakra on the that deep depth of a level it shows up certain things but it's here to heal it's not to come back and haunt you all the time it's a profound time in your life where happiness comes and takes a stand you know and sometimes we have to undo ourselves of all these things we've built up of all the things we kept away from ourselves or we kept burdened somewhere you know um buried somewhere deep within us and then it's gonna come forward but in order to have that real happiness and sense of fulfillment and that connection with another person um it's just necessary and it's necessary spiritual growth but you are very supported in this like you got a lot of um yeah how to put that like angels around you basically to get you through this you might even have a spiritual coach, spiritual mentor, spiritual person. You might want to have a real in-depth personal reading or an astrology chart for 2020. All of that I could really recommend for you. But overall, you are just going to feel really great in this year at times and moments where you feel really, really happy and really, really good. You know, and I know we're talking about January, but I just feel like it's so connected to all of it. Like it's connected to each other. So what else can Aquarius expect in the in the month of January? One more card, please. Two tops. There we go. Yes. <laughs> I'm acting like this is my reading. I'm just happy for you guys. You see? Nine of Pentacles. No, that's good. You see, even your money looks good. But you start reaping what you've sowed. Like reaping the rewards, Aquarius. It's very powerful. Okay. So. Let's remove this. Energy. Oh, what an energy. Let's move this deck. Let's pick up this deck. So we can go and do a pick card reading. overall message and this is okay 
What's your overall message? Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. So whether you're masculine or feminine, awakening her within you through dance, through creativity, through self-care and appreciating your divinity. Appreciating it. So it's coming true. I'm going to ring a bell a couple of times so you guys can tune into the energy of these three cards. Pick your card for January. Let's start Aquarius. First card, receptivity. Powerful. Allow yourself to receive, Aquarius. This will increase your intuition, your energy and ability to give to others. Allow yourself to receive in a very graceful way. Be open for having other people help you, to, for other people to bring you something. And also to receive from yourself. It will increase your intuition. Card number two. Inner wisdom. Inner wisdom. <clears throat> you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Take appropriate action without the delay. You know what to do. You know. Okay, card number three. Beautiful. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. That's what I said in the ending of the reading. So that connected to you on a personal level. You are safe. Your loved ones are safe as well and being spiritually protected. So, with that, thank you all so, so much for listening to this reading. If you are still here, then leave me a full moon emoji. A full moon emoji or any type of moon face. That's also totally fine. Uh, so, I know that you are here all the way up and I'll send you some positive energy back because I really appreciate you guys. Um, yes, if you have any questions... You can leave them out in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful New Year's Eve. If you're watching this in 2019. And if not, then uh, I'll be back soon on my channel. I love you to the moon and beyond. Bye Aquarius. Enjoy yourself. Bye.